please rise. Who gives this woman to be married? Thank you, Gus. may be seated. <laughs> That's a great smile. I love this. Uh, welcome, everybody. So glad that you can be here today to celebrate as uh, Gus and Alyssa are coming together before God to be united in marriage. Now, Gus and Alyssa, marriage is not a contract to be entered into lightly, but thoughtfully and seriously with a deep realization of the obligations and responsibilities. Marriage is the moment where your hearts and souls are joined together as one. We see a picture of what God intended for marriage in Genesis 2. The Lord God took the man and put him in the Garden of Eden to work it and keep it. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, You may surely eat of every tree of the garden, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat. For in the day that you eat of it, you shall surely die. Then the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make for him a helper fit for him. Now out of the ground the Lord God had formed every beast of the field and every bird of the heavens and brought them to the man to see what he would call them. And whatever the man called every living creature, that was its name. The man gave names to all livestock and to the birds of the heavens and to every beast of the field. But for Adam, there was not found a helper fit for him. So the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon the man, and while he slept, took one of his ribs and closed up its place with flesh. And the rib that the Lord God had taken from the man, he made into a woman and brought her to the man. Then the man said, cliffhanger. <laughs> this is at last the bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, because she was taken out of man. Therefore a man shall leave his father and his mother and hold fast to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. And the man and his wife were both naked and were not ashamed. I think one of the things that this scripture shows us is that marriage is a covenant relationship and that it's ordained and blessed by God. And I'd like to invite Gus's parents up right now to just say a few words about that covenant that you're entering into. Boa tarde. Good afternoon, everyone. É um prazer estar aqui nesse momento tão especial na vida do Gustavo e da Liz. It's an honor to be here today celebrating Gus and Liz. Quero agradecer de todo o meu coração, o Pastor Ezra, né, e toda a liderança dessa igreja por nos receber com tanto carinho e tanto amor. I would like to thank Pastor and all the leaders of the church uh, because you'll be receiving us so good tonight. E dizer que eu nunca vi uma noiva tão linda quanto a Liz. Uh, I never seen a bride so beautiful like you, Liz. E de um noivo tão emocionado quanto o Gus. And a groom so excited like us. 
Mais do que o Gus, só eu, quando me casei. Quero agradecer a Liz e o Gus. I like to thank Gus and Liz pelas lindas meias que eles nos deram. For the beautiful socks they gave it to me. Good. <risos> Aleluia por isso. Uh, ontem à noite, quando nós estávamos fazendo o ensaio aqui da, do casamento, uh, eu vi aquela foto. I saw this e no braço do Gus, está ali aquelas duas datas. And on Gus Riz, there's two dates on it. Que nós sabemos o quanto isso significa para ele. And we know, uh, what this to him. Representa uma geração de homens e de mulheres de Deus. Represents a generation of uh, men and women of God. Mark e Michelle, nós somos o Gustavo e Alice será a quarta geração de, de uma família consagrada ao Senhor. Uh, Gus is the fourth generation of a family uh, consecrated to God. Essa é a razão dessas datas. This is the reason of those dates. E ficamos muito contentes porque sabemos que está começando um novo ciclo na vida de vocês. And we are very happy because we know that this indicates a new uh, chapter of your life. Gustavo com 28 anos. Gustavo with 28 years old. Tanto eu quanto aquela linda jovem que está sentada ali, que é minha esposa. I remember myself and the beautiful lady sitting in the front row. Good. <risos> Há 28 anos nós oramos por esse rapaz. We pray for this gentleman for 28 years. Todos os dias. Every single day. E também para aquele lindo rapaz que ainda está solteiro sentado ali, o Eduardo. And we also pray for our son that is still single. We pray for him every single day. Um pouquinho mais velho, 31 anos. He's a little bit older, 31 years old. <laughs> Mas é assim a nossa história. A nossa história é feita debaixo da, do amor e da misericórdia do Senhor. But this is our history. Our history is made under the grace of God. E não estou aqui como pastor. I'm not here as a pastor. Apesar de tanto eu quanto a minha esposa já estamos no ministério há 40 anos. Uh, my wife and I, we've been uh, ministering for 41 years. Já fomos, somos pastores no Brasil, que é a nossa pátria. Uh, we were pastors in Brazil, our, our motherland. Já pastoreamos na Europa também, em Portugal. Uh, we went to Europe, uh, Portugal. Estamos agora aqui nos Estados Unidos há pouco tempo, por isso ainda não entendemos muito do inglês. E Deus nos abençoou com esse homem maravilhoso aqui, o Tiago, para nos ajudar. <laughs> And God has been blessing us with uh, Tiago that is here to help us today. Muito obrigado. Thank you. Vem ao meu coração uma passagem muito simples da palavra de Deus que eu gostaria de compartilhar com vocês agora, rapidamente. Uh, it came to my heart a very simple passage uh, from the Bible that I would like to share with you today. Eu vou deixar a primeira parte desse estudo para que o pastor Paulo possa ministrar, que é sobre Eclesiastes capítulo 3, verso 1. The, the first part I'm going to leave to Pastor Paul, so he can uh, go over with you guys. E a segunda parte é um texto que fala muito ao meu coração e ao coração da minha esposa. The second part uh, is a part that uh, it touches my heart and also the heart of my wife. Gostaríamos de dizer que esse casamento está tendo também é, o efeito além do religioso também com relação ao efeito civil segundo as leis dos Estados Unidos uh, this uh, marriage here today uh, it's a religious thing but it's also uh, a civil matter e aqui na minha mão está a chave da vitória que eles tanto esperam, tá bom? que é a certidão de casamento and in my hands I hold uh, the key of the victory which is the marriage certificate <laughs> A passagem que vou ler está no livro do profeta Isaías, capítulo 61, do verso 8 ao verso 11. Uh, the passage I'm going to read is in the book of Isaiah, uh, chapter 61, 62, verse 8 through 11. Ok. 
Porque eu, Senhor, amo a justiça e odeio o roubo e toda a maldade. Em minha fidelidade os recompensarei e com eles farei uma aliança eterna. Seus descendentes serão conhecidos entre as nações e a sua família entre os povos. E todos quantos os virem, os reconhecerão como o povo bendito do Senhor. É grande o meu prazer no Senhor. Regozija-se a minha alma em meu Deus, pois Ele me vestiu com vestes de salvação e sobre mim colocou o manto da justiça, qual noivo que adorna a cabeça como um sacerdote, qual noiva que se enfeita com joias. Porque assim como a terra faz brotar a planta e o jardim faz germinar a semente, assim o soberano, Senhor, fará nascer a justiça e o louvor diante de todas as nações. Amém. For I, the Lord, love justice. I hate robbery and iniquity. It's in my faith with me. I will reward them and make an everlasting covenant with them. Their descendants will be known among the nations and their offspring among the people. All who sees them will acknowledge that they are a people of the Lord has blessed. I delight greatly in the Lord. My soul rejoices in my God. For he has clothed me with garments of salvation and arrayed me in a robe of righteousness. As a bridegroom adorns his head like a priest, and a bride adorns herself with her jewels. For as the soil makes the sprout come up, and the garden causes seeds to grow, so the sovereign Lord will make righteousness and praise spring upon before all nations. Amen. Amen. De alguma maneira, no coração de Deus, esse dia já estava pré-determinado. Somehow, uh, in the heart of Lord, this day was already all programmed. Vocês estão nos conhecendo agora. Alguns de vocês conheceram alguns há pouco tempo, Gus, há pouco tempo. E muitos de vocês já conhecem a lista, talvez desde o seu nascimento. You are getting to know us now. Some of you may know Gus uh, for a certain time. Uh, and most of you, you know Liz, like for a long time ago. Ok. E, mas o coração de Deus, Ele conhece a todos nós que estamos aqui. But the heart of God, uh, He knows every one of us that is sitting here today. E foi do desejo dEle que nós pudéssemos testemunhar desse momento tão especial na vida deste casal. And it was God's will that we be here today testifying uh, this marriage. Amen. Amen. A palavra de Deus diz que os seus descendentes serão conhecidos entre as nações e a sua família entre os povos e todos quanto os virem os reconhecerão que vocês são uma família abençoada do Senhor. Verso 9. The descendants will be known among the nations, and the offspring among the people. All who sees them will acknowledge that they are the people the Lord has blessed. Amém. Eu e aquela querida, minha esposa amada, nós estamos fazendo esse ano 37 anos de casados. Myself and my beautiful wife, we are completing today 37 years of marriage. Graças a Deus. Thank God. E, amém. E a, a fórmula é muito simples. And the method, it's very simple. A primeira, o primeiro ingrediente dessa fórmula. The first ingredient Sim. This formula, é fidelidade. It's fidelity. Fidelidade é algo que não é negociável. Fidelity is something that is negotiable. O voto que vocês farão um ao outro aqui. Existe uma chancela, como se fosse em um cartório. Há uma legitimidade. The vows you'll be making to each other today, it's something that is notarized by God. Este selo será conhecido de todos nós através da aliança que vocês estão colocando. And this seal will be, know, will be known by us uh, with the rings that we, we're going to exchange. Mas, a alian... Mas o selo que nós não vemos But the seal that we don't see it, está sendo colocado pelo nosso Pai Celestial no coração de cada um de vocês. 
It's be put in by God in our hearts. O segundo ingrediente dessa fórmula. The second ingredient of this formula. Se chama humildade. It's humility. A melhor escola para que nós possamos desenvolver a humildade é o casamento. The best school for us to develop our humility is marriage. É quando nós aprendemos a abrir mão daquilo que nós achamos que é nosso por direito. It's when we learn to give up things that we think that is ours for, for right. Porque passa a imperar nas nossas vidas uma nova lei. Because now we have a different law ranging our lives. E essa lei se chama a lei do amor. And this law, it's called the law of love. E é por esse e é por esse momento. And because of this moment, que está começando agora na vida de vocês. You're starting uh, this new life now. Que essa estrada será muito, 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 muito longa. And this road will be long. Terceiro, terceiro ingrediente desse, desse, dessa fórmula linda. The third ingredient for this beautiful formula. Se chama aliança com Deus. It's called an alliance with God. Vou contar uma pequena história, muito rápida para vocês. I'm going to tell a short story, very quick. Alguns anos atrás, a few years ago, eu e aquela querida minha esposa amada, myself and my beautiful wife, nós não tínhamos, nós tivemos um acidente de carro muito sério. We were involved in a car accident. E uma das sequelas desse acidente do carro, and one of the causes of the accident, sim, é que ela não poderia gerar mais filhos. Uh, the, she was probably not going to be able to give birth anymore. Mas nossas vidas sempre foi muito uh, uh, baseada em cima daquilo que Deus nos ensinou. But our lives was always based on uh, what God has taught us. E na determinada noite eu estava em casa orando. In certain night I was at home praying. Mais ou menos perto de meia noite. Around midnight. A minha esposa já estava dormindo. My wife was already sleeping. Com os joelhos no chão. Eu estava com os joelhos no chão. I was a new on the floor. Deus me deu uma visão muito clara. And God gave me a clear vision. E ele me falou naquele momento. And he told me. O que que você deseja, Arnaldo? What do you wish the most? Eu falei, falei, meu pai, eu gostaria que você pudesse curar a minha esposa. Abençoá-la com saúde. And I say, God, I would like you to cure my wife and bless her with health. E naquele momento, Deus me mostrou as suas mãos. And at the time, God showed me his hands. Colocando sobre o ventre da minha esposa. He was putting his hands over my, my wife's belly. E ele falou, ela está sendo curada agora. And he told me, she's being cured right now. Me levantei. I got up. daquele momento tão especial. And from that moment, very special. Ela estava dormindo ainda. She was still sleeping. Cheguei lá, coloquei as mãos como Deus colocou sobre ela no sonho. I came to her and I put my hands just like I saw God doing to her. E falei, você está sendo curada agora em nome de Jesus. And I told her, you being cured now in the name of Jesus. Poucos dias depois. A few days later. Eu estava numa viagem no interior de São Paulo. I was traveling uh, in somewhere in São Paulo. Ela me liga dizendo, tenho uma novidade para te contar. And she comes and she say, I have something very important to tell you. Eu estou esperando um filho. I'm pregnant. Quem estava sendo gerado? Quando eu, quando eu mencionei que a terceira, o terceiro ingrediente dessa fórmula é aliança com Deus. Porque a história do Gustavo. Because Gustavo's history, a história do Eduardo, the history of Eduardo. A história da nossa família. The history of our family, ela é baseada em cima daquilo que Deus 
prometeu a nós. Is based on God's promises. Deus falou a nós. God told us. Que os nossos filhos. There are sons. Como diz a palavra do Senhor em Isaías. Like the book of Isaiah say, Seria uma bênção para as nações. Be a blessing for the nations. Eu digo a você, Alissa. And I tell you, Alissa. Que você faz parte desse projeto maravilhoso de Deus nas I'm nossas vidas. God's project in our family. Eu quero agradecer ao Mark e à Michelle. I would like to thank Mark and Michelle. Porque a minha esposa sabe que eu queria ter três filhos. My wife knows I would like to have three children. Dois homens Two men's, e uma menina. And one girl. Por enquanto, chegou a nossa filha aqui agora. And now I have a Lisa. Nós a recebemos como filha. We'll be receiving her as our own e faremos de tudo para você. And we're gonna do everything for her. Se esse rapaz fizer alguma coisa ruim, If Gustavo make anything bad to you, vai acertar comigo. He's gonna have to talk to me. Ok? Ok, Mark? Ok? Ok? Que Deus possa abençoá-los. God bless you. Amém. Muito obrigado. Amen. Thank you. Amém. Joe, I'd like to come up and she will bless the rings. Diante de Deus, by God, diante de famílias e amigos, in the of family and friends, famílias que vieram de diferentes cantos do mundo, family who came from different parts of the world. a família do Gustavo com origem árabe, italiana e brasileira, Gustavo, família com origem árabe, italiana e brasileira, a família da Lisa, com origens italiana e americana. Liz, with his oranges, Italian and American. Completamente diferentes. Completely different. Mas nós hoje nos unimos aqui. But we are all united here today. Para celebrarmos algo que em qualquer parte do mundo... To celebrate something that in every part of the world, regardless of its culture, it's exactly the same. É exatamente igual. É incomparável. It's incomparable. Mais forte. It's stronger. Supera todas as diferenças. Overcome all differences. É mais forte que tudo. It's stronger than everything. Que é o amor. It's love. O amor que foi gerado no coração de Deus. Love that was created by God. E nasceu no coração da Liz e do Gustavo. And it was planted in the hearts of Liz and Gus. É esse amor que nos traz aqui hoje. And it's this love that brought us here today. Gustavo, o nosso amor por você não cabe em dicionário nenhum do mundo, filho. Gustavo, our love for you couldn't fit in any dictionary, my son. Você tem trazido muito orgulho aos nossos corações. You have made our hearts very proud. Eu louvo a Deus pela sua vida. And I glorify God for your life. Liz. Liz. Nós te amamos no momento em que te vimos. We love you since the first time we saw you. E eu já falei, vou repetir. And I told you once and I will say it again. Os dias mais felizes da nossa vida como casal. The happiest days of my marriage. Foram os dias em que nós nos tornamos pais de Eduardo e Gustavo. Was when we became Eduardo and Gus parents. E quão felizes nós estamos hoje. And we are so happy here today. Por nos tornarmos agora. Because we became today. Pais pela terceira vez. Parents for the third time. Agora de uma linda e abençoada garota. Now from a beautiful and blessed girl. Hoje vocês farão uma aliança. Today you'll be making an alliance. A aliança é um aro. An alliance is like a ring. Porque simboliza a eternização. That symbolizes eternity. Ela não tem início nem fim. We are not able to see where it begins or where it ends. 
No momento em que vocês colocarem as alianças nos dedos. When you place this, this ring on each other's hands, vocês vão estar declarando e assumindo. You'll be declaring and affirming que vocês se pertencem. That from today you belong to one another. E esse pertencer. And this belonging to one another envolve união, involves union, respeito, respect, honra, honor, e amor, and love. Para vocês constituírem, to build, agora, a sua nova família. Under God's grace and all His protection, your new family. Vocês sonharão o sonho um do outro. You'll be dreaming a dream to one another. E viverão juntos. And you'll be living together. Os milagres de Deus. All God's miracles. Nas suas vidas. In your lives. Eu gostaria de orar agora. I would like to pray. Com as alianças. With the rings. Gostaria que os pais, o Eduardo, a família e todos estendessem as mãos. I would like you to raise your hands, please. Senhor, nós abençoamos essas alianças. Lord, we pray and bless these rings. Nós declaramos aqui, Pai. We declare here today, God. Que o seu amor está sendo derramado. That your love is being spilled here today. Ministramos força. We declare that the strength. Ministramos poder. The protection. A unção do teu Espírito Santo. The anointing of the Holy Spirit. Sobre essas alianças. Upon these rings. Declaramos o sangue de Jesus. We in the blood of Jesus cobrindo Christ. a vida do Gustavo e da Alissa. So uh, em nome do Senhor. In the name of Jesus, Christ. Jesus Cristo. Amém. Amen. Amém. We okay on that? Yeah. Hi, guys. How are you? Now it's my turn. I get to talk. Um, you know, Alyssa and Gus, when I asked you for a scripture or a verse that really stuck out to you, uh, you pointed me to chapter 3 of Ecclesiastes. For everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven. And I know, that, and, and everyone's familiar with the song that goes with it too, but there's all these things that are happening all the time in God's creation. I know the two of you said you were really drawn to that because you saw God's perfect timing and how he brought the two of you together. And scripture tells us that that's exactly true. God's timing and his plan truly are perfect. He's aware of everything, sovereign over everything that happens. There's nothing that surprises him. And he's always in control, even when we don't think he is, which happens a lot, because I, I don't know about you, I get a lot of plans and timelines and things in my head, and God doesn't always agree with those. But I think that's one of the things that, that you'll be learning, especially in your marriage, when you run into those moments. Those are the times you listen to God's plan before your own. And I really pray that's, that's true for the two of you, because I'm positive there's going to be joy and laughter and love in your life, but there's also going to be challenges. There's going to be trials and problems that come up. And when those things happen, I want you to make sure that you're staying strong in your faith. Don't let them become barriers to your faith in God. You know, it's an opportunity for the two of you to lean into each other deeper in a more meaningful relationship and then lean on God. Always lean on him first and come together. Because good and bad things come in every marriage. Anybody here can attest to that? Wow, you all have phenomenal marriages. That's awesome. <laughs> Apparently, we only run into problems. Anyway, there's going to be some tough spots in there, right? But I want you to remember this, that you've got Jesus and he's got you. Anything that you encounter, he's going to be right there with you. And now he's joining the two of you together to work through it too. You know, something else that the scripture reminded me of is that timing is important, especially in marriage. 
uh, you know, as, as Solomon goes through that list, there's an appropriate time for all the things he talks about in that scripture. There are going to be times for the two of you to talk. There are going to be times when you just need to listen. There are going to be times when you need to be poured into, and sometimes you're going to have to pour out. There's even going to be times when it's okay that there's three ratty, beaten up, dirty boxes that you move all of your stuff in, and you're going to be okay with that. Gus, there's also going to be some times where, like, throw out the $2, dude. Get another box, okay? <laughs> right? These are the kinds of things that you're going to be running into. And remember, timing is important. So as the two of you grow together and love each other, get to know the right timing. I pray that the Holy Spirit gives you discernment on that. You know, this scripture also confirms for us something that we already know to be true and that's that things are always going to be changing. You know, just when you think you have each other figured out, you got your budget, you've got a routine, something's going to happen to throw it all out of whack. But what I want to encourage you with is take those situations head on. I've seen you do that already. The two of you have had challenges and, and things, and you've not avoided them. You talk through them. I've seen you pray together. And separately, I've seen you seek wise counsel. I've seen you turn to scripture. My encouragement is keep doing that. You have such a solid foundation that you're starting off of, and I can't wait to see what God does with that. Keep pursuing him in those moments. The last thing I just wanted to share with you is this, that I think out of the scripture with everything as a time and a season, everything in this world comes and goes. None of it is ever going to satisfy you. The only way to find that is with Jesus. And knowing that you both have grounded your faith in Jesus, you're starting out in a great place because you're not going to look to each other to fill something that only Jesus can fill. So remember that first, and then the outpouring of his love will pour out for each of you for each other. As you enter into your marriage today, my prayer for you is that in every season and in every time that your faith in Jesus carries you through and is the fuel for your loving relationship together. Love you both. Let's take a moment to pray. Father, um, just thank you that you're in control. We thank you for knowing this day was going to come before creation was was made we thank you for the blessing that you're offering over us today and i ask that you continue to bless us as we move through the rest of the ceremony and as they enter into their new lives together we pray this in jesus name amen all right ready to get married all right come on up Could the two of you join hands, please? We're going to do the vows. And Alyssa, we're going to start with you. Do you, Alyssa, take this man, Gus, to be your husband, to love him and to honor him, to nurture, serve, and support him in times of joy and in times of difficulty? Do you promise to remain by his side regardless of the troubles you face? And in the presence of temptation, do you promise to remain steadfast and true? Do you promise with all your heart and soul to honor this vow till death do you part? If so, answer, I do. I do. All right, you're up. Do you, Gus, take this woman, Alyssa, as your wife, to love her and to honor her, to nurture and serve and support her in times of joy and in times of difficulty, do you promise to remain by her side regardless of the troubles you face and in the presence of temptation? Do you promise to remain steadfast and true? Do you promise with all your heart and soul to honor this vow till death do you part? 
If so, answer, I do. I do. All right, now time for the rings. The ring is an unbroken circle, and it represents unending love. As often as either of you look upon these rings, may you be reminded of this moment and the love you have promised to one another. Gus, please take this ring and put it on Alyssa's finger. Repeat after me. I give you this ring with... with go ahead. I give you this ring... I give you this ring. With the pledge to love you today, tomorrow, and always. The pledge of loving you today, tomorrow, and always. I give you this... Oh, see, now I'm off. <laughs> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Only thing I had not to do was drop the ring. <laughs> I didn't do that. It's all good. We found it. We're good. We're good. Alyssa, could you please take this ring and place on Gus's finger and repeat after me? Gus, I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. Gus, I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. And then I'm choosing to share my life's journey with you. I'm choosing to what? <laughs> share my life's journey with you. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. With the pledge to love you today, tomorrow, and always. I will love you today, tomorrow, and always. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now I'd like to invite both sets of parents to come up and pray over the couple. Gostaríamos que vocês colocassem as mãos de vocês I would like you to put your hands over the sobre a Palavra de Deus. Gostaria que toda a igreja pudesse ficar em pé agora. Uh, can the church rise, stand, please? E que vocês pudessem estender as mãos em direção a este casal. Can you put your hands over the couple, please? A mão direita. The right hand. Para que vocês pudessem abençoá-los no nome do Senhor Jesus. So you also can bless them in the name of Jesus. Pai querido. Loving Father. Nesse momento tão especial. In this special moment. Na vida do Gustavo e da Liz. In the lives of Gustavo and Liz. Como pais. Like fathers. Nós os abençoamos. We are blessing them. E como igreja. And like a church. Declaramos que as bênçãos de Deus. We declare that the blessings of God. Sejam plenas sobre a vida de vocês. Will be plain in their lives. Nós declaramos que isso está sendo selado agora. We that now it's nos céus e na terra. In the heavens, in the earth. A palavra de Deus diz. The book of God says, que tudo que ligarmos na terra. That we do on earth, será ligado nos céus. It's gonna be to the e Deus é testemunha agora. And God is a desta aliança. Of this que está sendo formada. Nesse momento. On this moment. Como pais like, like parents, e como ministros de Deus, and like ministers of God, nós os abençoamos we are blessing you. e declaramos a, que a presença do Senhor Jesus, and we declare that the presence of God, que a eterna misericórdia de Deus Pai, and the, eterna misericórdia de Deus Pai, and the eternal, uh, e a, the grace of God, the grace of God e a comunhão do Espírito Santo. In the of the Holy Spirit, sejam sobre vocês hoje. Will be over you, 
e por toda a eternidade, até a volta do Senhor Jesus. Jesus Deus os abençoe. God bless everyone. Amém. Amen. Aleluia. Glória a Deus. One of the commandments that Jesus gave us was to remember his death and resurrection by partaking in the Lord's Supper. In Paul's letter to the Corinthians, he says this, For I received from the Lord what I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way also he took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. As you take the Lord's Supper, remember what Jesus has done for you out of his love. As Gus and Alyssa take communion, please join us in worship.
no shadow you won't light up mountain you won't climb up coming after me there's no wall you won't kick down lie you won't tear down coming after me no shadow you won't Two of you join hands. Gus and Alyssa, you have pledged your faith to each other before God and in the company of your family and friends. By the power vested in me by the state of Pennsylvania, it is my extreme pleasure to now pronounce you husband and wife. Gus, you may kiss your beautiful bride. <laughs> Family and friends, I am proud for the first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Gustavo and Alyssa Baramili Monfardini.
I want to thank everybody for coming today. That includes the service. Uh, the couple's going to be taking pictures out front, so if you could leave through the side door to the back parking lot, that way no one will be photobombing. But thank you all for coming today.